Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate about my web programming project that is actually a forum. My website name is beacoda.com. It's a forum for developers, for programmers to share their experiences, their articles, their stuff on the internet. It's kind of same uh, stuff we have uh, currently uh, on the codeproject.com code, code or codeguru.com. It's kind of same thing. But the idea behind this website for me is to use ASP.NET Ajax 2.0 with maximum control which I can use and I've used about 10 controls from it and uh, the authentication method, the new way of auth authentication actually I use OpenID for that and uh, CAPTCHA images to prevent automated form submission that is very interesting uh, and I will go in detail in the next phase of this video and third is uh, integration with the social networking website so it's very interesting to have uh, this kind of thing in your website and all these things uh, integrated together and about the database I use language integrated query that is uh, a new way of dealing uh, your databases and it's very easy for programmer to use it so I will go in detail about CAPTCHA in the next phase thank you Okay, now we'll discuss more about CAPTCHA images, how to implement them in your websites. Now this is my website, beacolor.com, it's uh, a home page. Okay, first of all I'm going to show you where I have used CAPTCHA images, where you can join me or registration stuff. So here you can see I have CAPTCHA images, this one, so I can show you how to uh, click on this refresh button and everything, but uh, since I have uh, applied few required validators and a uh, number of other things, so we have to supply them, but it's okay. So to have this kind of thing on your website, you must have DLL. And to get the DLL, you must go to somewhere on the Google or search it, uh, up, search about CAPTCHA images DLL, and you can find it easily. Currently, I have with mine so I can show you like this is CAPTCHA zip file and uh, if we extract them then we can have this CAPTCHA and uh, here we can see we have CAPTCHA DLL and few other things. So the most important thing in this whole solution to have is uh, actually DLL file and another important thing is JPEG image underscore cs dot aspx file this one and the third is refresh dot jpeg it's a refresh button actually so once you have these three things with you you can import these into your solution like i have a website here via coder so just go to your solution and say right click and then go to add references and here you can add your dll file so wherever you have just added and you can see that under your bin folder like I have mine under bin folder and you can see here here I have yeah, this one so uh, once you add your DLL the second step is to add the uh, JPEG image uh, cs.aspx file which actually helps you to create an image at the runtime so uh, you need to add that one as well so I have added it here and it's uh, not a big issue I guess just uh, import it uh, either copy paste or somewhere or some other way maybe and the uh, third is refresh.jpg so you can place uh, directly on the main root uh, place this image there but uh, it can be moved to your content folder wherever you have wherever you are managing all the images it's quite possible just uh, change the reference uh, wherever it needs okay okay once you added all the three files into your solution the next phase is to set up an environment on the front end to use those DLL files and all the things there so how you can do that First of all, you need a text box, which is play I have already placed here. And second, you need image, that is easy. Okay, and this is actually a image button. 
so you need these three things just play this place where place there wherever you like on your website and after that what you have to do just name them like this one text box I have to use text code the name of this text box so nothing special the same stuff which we usually do with all the text boxes but about the image about the image we have something special in this case like here we have a source source like in from which source it actually gets its image so I am supplying it here like uh, it should get the image from this jpeg image underscore cs dot aspx files which we have already supplied uh, under the solution so that file actually is responsible to use a dll file and by using that dll file it generates the image and uh, compile the whole image and give this image box a required a new image every time whenever the refresh button click so here we have refresh button just give a refresh button a source or link where you have placed your uh, uh, image so nothing special but of course we do have its uh, click event which is here so just I'm going on that click event what I have here is okay the only the one line session capture images text it's again everything is actually placed in the session and uh, because in session you can place object you can place integer value string everything so images are also possible inside sessions so actually this 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 concept is used here so capture images dot generate random code and everything it actually calls that dll file to generate a to generate a new word or a new number after every refresh this object is created by calling one of the method of a class cap j images and the method name is generate random code and this method actually uh, actually gets a new numeric number or maybe a string every time whenever the refresh button click and supply this randomly generated number to jpeg image underscore cs dot aspx file to make a jpeg uh, to show it on the front front uh, on the front screen of the user so this is kind of way actually this uh, dll works and this again the same thing this whole capture images method is used on every load methods okay we require the same functionality on every load of this web web page like uh, we need a new jpeg image on every load of this web page so of course we need a same statement uh, in our load method of this web page. so I can show you here we have a load method and here we have a statement which is same uh, the other one so uh, this is the way actually we can we can integrate capture images with our websites and it's nothing uh, difficult I guess uh, this is all about the integration of capture images for your website and uh, you can have this here so I hope you can integrate now with your websites and it's quite easy for further detail you can contact me on my email address that is this place uh, at the end and thank you for watching this video bye bye